Hello everyone. In the second lecture of JSP, we are going to see the introduction of JSP programming, different types of uh, tags that we need to use, different types of expressions, commands, directives of JSP that we need to use while programming a JSP page. So starting with this, first is scriptlet. Scriptlet. A scriptlet contains any number of Java language statements, variables or method declarations or the expressions. So any text, HTML tag or JSP element you write must be outside the scriptlet. And the code or the, and the syntax of this scriptlet is like this. Brackets, then percentage and your code then again percentage and brackets so in this you have to contain any number of java language statements variables or method declarations or any html code suppose this is the html code needs to be outside this scriptlet part second is jsp declarations jsp declarations are used to declare one or more variables or methods so in this you can declare variables or methods and the syntax is like this brackets percentage declaration semicolon percentage bracket close so that is your JSP declaration syntax then we have the JSP expression. It contains scripting language expression that is evaluated and converted to a string. So uh, if we want to process any expression, that, that expression needs to be converted into a string. And the syntax is like this. Equals to expression. So by this we means whatever this expression is returning, whatever value this expression is returning that is evaluated and converted to a string. So in this you can write that the value returning is converted to string. This will be more clear when we will do the programming part but in the theory uh, expect you need to new, know what are this scriptlet, JSP declaration, JSP expression and the syntax of this basic terms. Then in any programming language comments plays an important role so JSP also has a comment uh, container and the syntax of that is then you have your JSP comment and to close the comment so this is basically here JSP comment then we have the JSP directives JSP directives are used to affect the overall structure of the servlet class these are used to affect overall structure of the servlet class And the syntax of this is like this. You have to use at the rate, then directive attribute, and the value of that attribute. So basically, directives are used. Directives are used to include certain Java packages in your JSP page including your error pages then including some file for the processing in the JSP page. So different types of directives and their descriptions are discussed in the next slide. So these are some of the directives and their description. So if we have a directive like this at the rate page then that means we are defining page dependent attributes.
we are defining page dependent attributes and these attributes can be like any scripting language that we need to use or we are using a error page etc those kind of attributes are defined in this page directive then if we need to include a file during the translation phase then that needs to be used with the help of at the rate include so it is including a file it includes a file during translation phase then we have at the rate tag lib this is very important and we will use this when we will discuss custom tags in jsp it declares a tag library it declares a tag library containing custom actions used in the page so it declares a tag library containing custom actions so if you want to declare a tag as per your requirement then you can create a tag have the action or the functionality in that tag and we have to use this at the rate tag lib directive to use that particular tag so these are some of the directives and their description then we have jsp action jsp actions use constructs in xml syntax to control the behavior of the servlet engine so it is actually used to control the behavior of the servlet engine and the syntax of jsp action is like this in this you have to specify the action like include use bin forward text then <coughs> the attribute and the value of that attribute so this is the syntax for using jsp action now some of the syntaxes are di uh, discussed here like jsp include it includes a file it includes a file at the time the page is requested so it includes a file at the time the page is requested so if you need to have some file for the processing in your jsp page then you can use jsp colon include which will include that particular file at the time page is requested then we have jsp colon use bin it finds or instantiates a java bin so it is used to find and initialize or instantiate the java bin then we have jsp forward it forwards the request to a new page this is also very important because sometimes we need to forward the particular request to some another custom page for that we can use jsp colon forward so it forwards the request to a new page then we have jsp colon text it is used to write template text in jsp pages and documents so it is used to write template text in jsp pages so these are some of the jsp actions we have more actions like jsp plugin if you need to include some plugin in your jsp then we have jsp body and so on as per your requirement you can use different jsp actions so in this video what we have discussed is the different type of jsp elements basic terminology of jsp programming and we have already also seen different directives and jsp actions thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials on jsp servlets and other computer science related subjects 
थैंक यू